Welcome back. So, I've been on a little break. I went to go do some teaching in beautiful, mountainous Utah. I had a great time. Maybe a little too good of a time. <laughs> so, you guys, I did get COVID finally. I'm just... Um, I'm okay. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I have, but I, here's, here's what this video is about. It's not about me. Uh, I did get some new toys. I'm going to show you in a second, but I want to say thanks for uh, hanging out at World Drum Club. I appreciate you all, and I really appreciate all the patrons. I've had more people joining this last week, which uh, is, it feels great. It does, because, uh, you know, pandemic, staying inside. All right, so what did I get? I got um, this beautiful drum. I'm going to tell you where you can get one just like it or slightly different. So we call this a buffalo drum, shaman drum, hoop drum. There's different names. Um, but this was made in the, you know, I'll just say in the spirit of Native American style hoop drums. It's got an elk skin head that has been tie-dye. This is a dye here, this pattern. But the head is a natural head, elk skin. And then on the back, let me show you the overhead. Beautiful handle with a stone. So this is a, a rock right in there. Uh, and uh, it just makes it so comfortable to hold. Like, There's different ways of holding it. I, I tend to grab this kind of like that, um, but there's, you know, you can just figure out the way that's right for you. Oh, that way's comfortable too. <laughs> it's not just one way, but beautifully made uh, by Wayne the drum maker, Wayne Manthley, and, or Manthley, and you can, um, you, I'll, I'll leave a link to his website, but if you look up Wayne the drum maker, you can find him pretty easy. So I want to thank Wayne for shipping this out to me. Um, comes with this little mallet, which is very simple, just a dowel and uh, you know a little pleather mallet head. Uh, let's give it a listen. And for this, I'm going to add a, a, just a tiny bit of reverb, because why not? Here it goes. There was a little extra sound in there because I didn't silence my phone when I started this video. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. I got it. Let's just take care of that. All right. So Wayne, the drum maker, uh, he, he has drums like this in different sizes and other drums too. But um, you can, you know, support his work. And then I got a couple flutes. And if you're a drum person, don't click away yet. Get your hand off the trackpad or mouse or whatever you're using. Um, these are by a, uh, a friend, Mad Max. He makes these flutes, and I got a, a couple of them. And this is an F, and I got an F flute because I didn't have an F flute. It's one of those in between, in between some of the more popular um, keys, like F sharp and E. So this is right in between. Here's what it sounds like. Pretty fun. And then, check this one out, you guys. Uh, this is a low A. So this is a bass A. And uh, I'm going to play it for you. And then I want to tell you why it's kind of cool and why I got it, even though I already have a, a bass A. <laughs> it's a disease. We keep getting them. Here we go. Thank you. 
All right, pretty fun. Takes a lot of air to play these. I do not recommend getting a bass A if you tend to run out of air when you play the flute or if you just have smaller hands. Not recommended. Here's why this is kind of cool. Look at the top and look where the sound hole is and see how short that is. Now this is my other bass A. This is by Blue Star. I also um, love his flutes. But here's one reason I got this one. Look at the length difference. So quite a bit shorter. And if I hold the um, the sound hole, see on my, well on your right, on my left, you see I've got the sound holes lined up and you see, so all this part up here is missing. We don't need it. We got, we got rid of it. Uh, so there you go. So I got this one, not because I don't love this one, but this is much bigger and I could probably fit this you know, in, I mean, of course I can fit it in a smaller bag and I can travel with this, take it around to flute circles. Um, and so forth. So um, those are my toys that I got on the trip. Um, I do want to remind you all that we are doing Zuma flute alongs on the first and third Saturdays of every month, uh, unless I have to change it for scheduling reasons. We're also doing percussion hangs on the third Saturdays of every month with a special guest artist. So that is available at Patreon. Uh, you can visit us here, you can join, become part of the Kalanosphere, the uh, community over there, patreon.com slash Kalani. It's not like you guys haven't heard me say that about a zillion times before. All right, I'm gonna go, be careful folks. I'm gonna keep getting better. It's good to be back. Um, I'll leave links below to the instruments that I just showed you. Go out and make some great music. I'll see you soon.